I am so happy to be here to celebrate my great friend, Clara Wu, on the occasion of her receiving the John Jay College Champion of Justice Award. Clara Wu is a warrior for justice. She is transforming philanthropy by bringing a focus not only on generosity and charity, but on dignity and justice. I've seen her work firsthand in reforming the criminal justice system and ending mass incarceration. Her support for the local Brooklyn community in terms of jobs and small businesses, the support she has provided to her players and to the family at Barclays Center. Clara Wu is a warrior for justice. And I speak on behalf of everyone at the Ford Foundation when I say how grateful we are that Clara's philanthropy, passion have come together in such a powerful way. And I'm so happy to honor her here with everyone in the John Jay community. A well-deserved award. Take a bow, Clara. Hi, I'm Van Jones. I get the great honor of working uh, with Clara Wusai through the Reform Alliance. She's one of the founding uh, board members there. Uh, I get a chance to be the CEO there. And I just want to say, there is no better advocate for justice. There's nobody who's more fierce, nobody who cares more, nobody who asks tougher questions, uh, nobody who loves her players more, uh, and nobody who's really trying to figure out how to solve the problems of opportunity and justice and and education, nobody is doing it more or better or greater with more heart than Clara Wusai. Uh, it's a big honor to know her, and uh, she certainly deserves this award and many, many more. Uh, we love you from the Reform Alliance. We, we are honored to have you as one of our founders. Clara and I met because of issues about police violence. We had a conversation about what do we do, right? That there are a million think pieces and essays, and you can watch a documentary about how bad police violence is. But the question becomes, now what? What do we do to end it? And when I think about how I began knowing Claire, she was laser focused on learning. She was trying to figure out what are all the things that she doesn't know? What can she do in her position with her resources to actually impact change at scale? And that really moved me. There are a lot of people I talk to who aren't as focused on solutions. They sit in the problem. But what makes Claire stand out is that she wants to play in the possible. That that actually is how I think about her the most as somebody who's engaged and trying to think about what are the big things we can do to change the world. Now, when I think about being honored by John Jay, a place that is rooted in a belief in equity and justice, there's no better change maker than Clara Wu. Somebody who embodies these both in her commitments and her professional world, but also in the curiosity and the way that she's able to leverage her personal gifts and resources to change the lives of those around her. Now, Claire is a model for me about how people can enter into spaces where they might not have been content experts originally, and they can just learn and learn and learn and offer suggestions and think about solutions in ways that will have an impact. I'm proud to know Claire. It's an honor to see the way that she's used her gifts all across this country, and especially in the city where she spends the most of her time, New York. honored to receive the Champion of Justice Award tonight. I support John Jay College because it's a nationally recognized driver of economic mobility. According to a Brookings Institution report published last June, John Jay ranks fifth in the country close behind two other CUNY schools among colleges with the greatest success in lifting low-income students into the middle class. Improving economic mobility among low-income households has been a focus of my philanthropy from the earliest days. Growing up in Lawrence, Kansas, the daughter of immigrants from Taiwan, my own personal struggles and experiences led me to become a fierce advocate for equality of opportunity. Education was my pathway to opportunity, and I believe it is the single most important mobility lever we have. With evidence that CUNY and John Jay College improve career and life trajectories for so many New Yorkers, it's essential that we continue to support the school's mission and its students. 
I also support John Jay because it has a diverse student body with a large immigrant population. About 80% of the student body are minorities. About half are first generation, a third are immigrants, and over half of the students are from households earning less than $30,000 per year. John Jay is a large producer of minority law school applicants, and all graduates help to build a pipeline that will ensure diversity in the justice system and in public service. John Jay is in a unique position to convene the difficult conversations that we must have as a country in order to affect social change. The future of public safety panels held over the summer convenes some of the most important voices in the country on this subject. But John Jay is also a justice institution seeking common ground for what is often considered separate and opposing sides of the justice system. Justice activists and students interested in law enforcement sit side by side in the classrooms. John Jay has a profound effect on law enforcement in a way that no other college does. Given the clear impact on economic and social mobility for students, the role in ensuring current and future diversity in justice and public service, and its constructive approach to teaching, it's important to maximize student success by enhancing the student experience with the programs that we're supporting tonight. Our own social justice commitment at our foundation and at BSC Global focus on supporting economic mobility and racial justice in Brooklyn, supporting voices of black leaders, creating a company culture of inclusiveness and racial equity, and on bringing the community together around conversations about justice. I thank Carol Mason for her excellent leadership at John Jay and also for her mentorship as we continue together on this journey toward justice. Thank you.